Oh, Fiso. Ah, Varikama are here of Varikama Mystics. And um, yes, we're in that November month. Yes. It is my month as well. So I get extra excited and um, extra self motivated and self self involved. Self. I feel ya. You're washing your shoes. They're in the park. We're in the park right now. It's about nine o'clock on a Saturday. It's pretty early. It's not usual. Um, escapade, but we like to get out early on the weekdays. Um, but yeah, so we're in this November month. Okay, November is is big in this game. Why? Because you know that nine is the last single digit for a very good reason, and nine is also not even. Um, used in the Chaldean numerology which is the original uh, numerology system to understand the energy of numbers because every number has a frequency from zero to nine okay and then we also have the double digit numbers which is the um, the master numbers uh, 11 22 33 44 55 da, 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 da. yeah well we're gonna go now we're gonna have to go now five minutes someone's in the recording hold on please yeah so they're getting themselves wet i told just now I told her if you get yourself extremely wet yes yeah, so we're gonna have to go they're puddling fishes um anyway yeah moja so i got to have some fishes i what was i saying numerology 22 66 so forth right and uh, those double digits have the um the same frequency as the original one but we know that when more than one is there then so is the divine ah i lost it again man you know there's that um that saying that if more if all right i'm gonna have to go and come back mama's in the middle of recording we're gonna go very shortly now when more than one is there then when more than one gathers and i am there i.e the divine i.e the infinite one i.e the most high uh god the highest god because you know me myself my children everybody else who's uh, living in their manifestationhood is a god so you can manifest left or right yin or yang good or bad type thing right but it's all dependent on um how far you take your divinity because again we are all demigods even in the last random thursday that i did uh, i said thursday i used to say thursday what's up with that <sighs> you know i'm a pisces so i pick up everybody's energies no. Anyways, so with this November month, we have uh, an 11 energy, and it's also the nine month as well. Um, uh, Latin or Greek, I'm not sure. Nov stands for nine, like oct stands for eight, and sept stands for seven. So September is the seventh month, really, and um, October is the eighth month, and you know, so all these months have different energies as well as the collective energy and what i do is always work with what is like the collective energy and as well as the ancient energy and then make it a whole new something by putting them together and seeing what comes out of it okay so um we're in 2012 which is the um, ancient um truth and then we have the collective truth which is 2019 so if we add those together um then we have the five and the three and a five and a three equals a seven. Eight. <laughs> yeah, numerologists out here. Ugh. Anyways, yeah, so that's eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, to make sure. It's, that's an eight energy. So um, this year, and coming into 2020, it's all about owning your power. I mean, life is all about owning your power and checking your cycles, you know? Um, seeing where are you at, where are you supposed to be? You know, where have you been? Where can you be going? And there's always like something better that we can be doing other than what we are doing. You know, most people are like, you know, we're good, we're good, we're just out here living, loving, learning, enjoying, you know, as we should. But there are always something, there's always something better that we can be doing, you know. And again, going back to our natal charts, you know, we our sun is our sign, our moon is our sign, our rising is our sign, our north node definitely is our sign. But we also encompass all the other signs and we have to, you know, pick and choose what really works for us. What is best, when it's best, and how it can be best put across and all the rest of it, you know? Yeah, life is, life is. It's all good, man. You have to just um, work it. Don't let it work you, you know? Again, November is a special month. Not only because it's the culmination of things, 
but it's also the uh, integration of things. So um, November, although seemingly like all about the love month, they say 11-11 is all about love, 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 love. But you know that the first love that you have to have, it may not be um, ingrained in us. We don't really come up with that programming, unfortunately, but it should be one and it will be one pay forward because um, Generation Zen, or Zen, as I say, <laughs> I think it's Generation Z, they're definitely coming up understanding that love is first and love for self is first and it's the most worthwhile so that you can really give self you can you can really give of yourself to others and you can really um just be the highest you the best you so you can really give people true not just facts you know momentary gains or you know occasional happiness but real joy lifetime of joy you know understanding that the joys comes within the good and the bad and the good and the bad is is um it's perceptive you know yeah it's definitely perceptive and as long as you you know that whatever it is that you're going through you can pull yourself out of it you know there's a time frame for everything nothing lasts forever even the good stuff you know but we can bring that background so no worries and sometimes we have to go through some arduous stuff you know some shit that we don't really want to have to but at some point we have to and it really is it's the it's this strength of character and not even so much strength of character what do you say it's a test of character you know and then go when we talk about um, us having many different sides to us you know the, what they now call bipolar or whatever it's um it's just different aspects of you and as you grow we don't we're not supposed to say the same although you know people society tells us that yes if you you want to be a doctor you have to be a doctor all your life but if you come into um a stage or phase in life where you know you are shown different you you gain some new knowledge or whatever don't be afraid to step out of that box you know and especially most time we go we in certain professions careers or whatever for a a good standing a good while like your life is not just a box they say it like that you know there's other things to experience outside of that box different environments different circumstances or however whatever and um everything is part of the journey yes early morning shut up um <laughs> everything is for the experience everything is the soul the growth i was trying to say grow the soul in it yeah so whatever you do is so good just as long as you do it in a way that is if it is fathomable to you but also again about that box like don't feel like you have to be curbed in there are a lot of programs set for us whether it's from family from friends society um you know media that tells us we have to be like this but remember if you get that nudge if you get that that inclination to step aside move to the side go over there don't stay here you know make those moves you have to it's um it, it's, it's i'm going to say your prerogative not so much more like it's your birthright okay to not feel stagnant to change at will all right that's that that's wherever you have leo is where you would have those um instances where you want to change at will so check where leo resides in your chart and you know what is um what is that thing that you have to weigh wherever leo is in your chart you're just supposed to be like 100 percent your way okay and that doesn't mean everything and anything and that's why we have to always like not worry about what other people are doing because somebody else might be their work life or and that may be in the sixth house okay or it might be in their first house which is supposed to be everything to do with self you know so again looking at your chart really helps you understand who you are why you are and how you can best evolve because again this is a bigger one like yes i come through the libra slash scorpio on the cusp um of the sun but I know that sometimes being a Libra, being two minds, and that's not two minds, like Libras are very like direct. People say that Libras are very indecisive. It's only indecisive because we're trying to cater for others' needs as well. Because we, we know that we're cool, however, whatever, you know, we can handle it. But we wanna um, make sure everybody else around us is cool too. So that's why we might be second guessing things or thinking things over and over. Cause you know, we might think, oh, this person might like it this way, but you know, we usually have it this way and that other person might like it that way. So we're trying to, you know, bridge the gap or come to a consensus, a middle point. Um, 
but yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio so my son is like that so my actions are deep and sometimes I'm um, left or right but um, I know that's not always conducive sometimes I just need to be that airy side of me so I go full throttle on whatever it is that I need to do anyway seven minutes maybe this would be a random Thursday for you <laughs> I, I love watching back my stuff you know uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't get that many views and that's not even because my work ain't the shit and my work ain't the real It's just because I have other things karmically that's tied to my work And so um, I don't want to discuss that too much because uh, when I, once I can I'll let you all know what's up Because my life is for learning I've come to understand that my life is for learning So my experiences are the collective experiences At least it's, it's a collective because um, I was born on the 20th SS. 22nd and 22 is a master builder number so you know that the two by itself is all about relationships relating um, um, unions communions uh, people <laughs> and again born in the Libra uh, Scorpio side so I have to go deeper in understanding how we can best relate right with people and partnerships and stuff like that and um, and then my I see is I don't like giving you all my whole chart, you know, because that's private to me. <laughs> and people can play with your chart as well and manipulate you to, to, to do or not to do, however, whatever, depending on your strengths and weaknesses. So, you know, yeah. I have a lot of, um, I'm, a very, I'm very cuspy. So I'm always like, mm, uh, I can see different sides to um, most cases. And um, yeah. So don't stay stagnant, y'all. That's the most of it. Love, live, learn, enjoy. Much love, much full joy the rest of this um this month. Yeah. This thing's coming through that I'm like, should I share that right now? Nah, nah, nah. That Scorpio side is true. Mm -hmm.